You know, teen suicide reaches virtually every school. Doesn't matter if kids are rich or poor. Many are contemplating it and some are succeeding. In February, we brought you the story of the suicide of St. Xavier High School sophomore Grant Egbers and how his death spurred his mother to look for solutions. She found Hope Squad in Utah, a peer to peer suicide prevention program. Now 21 schools in Cincinnati will start Hope Squads in the fall and we caught up with Hope Squad nominated students in Lakota who learned yesterday more of what they will do to help save lives. Suicide has increased every year in the United States since 1990. How many of you know someone who's been affected by either an attempt or suicide? Hands shoot into the air. Suicide is not new to so many of these kids, like Logan Grimes and Alyssa Longworth. I've had a relative commit suicide um, back in January. I've had a lot of personal experience with this. My cousin uh, had passed away suicide. And, and then earlier um, this year, I've had my friend, she attempted to OD. I'm very happy to get involved. I want to try to make a difference. I want to try to help out people so their families don't have to go through the same kind of trauma that we've gone through. It's amazing the impact that you have to be able to reach out to others. These kids' compassion and kindness are part of the reason their own peers pick them to be on Hope Squad. Dr. Greg Hudnall started Hope Squad in Utah, where they have had incredible success in preventing suicide. He believes the key lies with these students, who can learn how to recognize someone who needs to just talk, or someone who needs help, and how to get them that help. In essence, they will be the eyes and the ears of their schools. Four out of five young people who are suicidal or depressed will tell a friend and the friend will never tell an adult. So the power is really educating them on know, knowing what signs to read, how to talk to that friend, but most important, when to go to an adult. Alyssa Longworth says she's excited to be part of Hope Squad, that she's wanted something like this at her school. She and Logan believe Hope Squad can bring hope and help for their friends. I think it might create like a more positive environment, people being more friendly. Oh, I think it'll make a huge difference to make sure everyone has a safe place to talk to someone. So this is just the beginning. The kids have many, many more meetings to learn, more learning to do before Hope Squads will launch at Lakota's East and West in the fall. This was really their first look at it. I do plan to follow this important story along with my colleague, Lucy May. You can read her reporting. Find that on WCPO.com.